गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट क्रोमोसोम म्यूटेशन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो अ क्रोमोसोमल म्यूटेशन इज एनी चेंज दैट ऑकर्स विद इन द क्रोमोजोम अनलाइक पॉइंट म्यूटेशंस दैट ऑल्टर अ जीन or a segment of dna in the chromosome chromosomal mutations change the entire chromosome so we have seen in our previous lecture that point mutation alters a single base but chromosomal mutation alters a chunk of dna includes many bases hence affects the entire chromosome Let's see different types of chromosomal mutation. First is structural and second is numerical mutation. Let's talk about structural mutation first. This type of mutation alters the structure of a chromosome. And there are different types of structural mutation such as deletion, duplication, inversion and translocation. so we will talk about them one by one first is deletion this type of mutation causes the loss of a part of a chromosome let's see the figure here so this is the chromosome and this part is deleted from this chromosome and the new chromosome doesn't have this part okay so common disorders due to deletion mutation in humans are cryduchat cystic fibrosis etc next is duplication in this type of mutation a part of a chromosome is present in excess of the normal composition let's see the figure so this is the normal chromosome and this part is duplicated like this and the new chromosome contains two parts of this segment okay uh, a common disorder due to human duplication mutation is shakumari tooth disease type 1 okay next is inversion During inversion a portion of the chromosome is reversed and gets inserted back into the chromosome There are two types of inversion exist pericentric and paracentric Pericentric inversion During a pericentric inversion the inversion involves the centromere of the chromosome and paracentric inversion so during a paracentric inversion the inversion does not involve the centromere of the chromosome let's see the figure here so this is pericentric inversion so this part is reversed in this and it includes the centromere part if you see paracentric inversion you can see that this part that is getting reversed here doesn't involve centromere okay a common disorder due to inversion mutation in humans is hemophilia a next is translocation translocation happens when a fragmented chromosome joins with a non homologous chromosome let's see the figure here okay so these two are non homologous chromosomes both the chromosomes are broken and this part joins with this and this part joins with this like this so this is an example of reciprocal translocation common disorders due to human translocation mutation are 
infertility and cancer okay so next we will talk about numerical mutation this type of mutation alters the number of chromosome there are two types of numerical mutation aneuploidy and polyploidy aneuploidy aneuploidy is a type of mutation that results in the loss or gain of one or more chromosomes so loss of a single chromosome is called monosomy we can represent monosomy as 2n minus 1 the example of monosomy is turner syndrome here one x chromosome is missing in females that means females have 45 chromosomes next loss of a pair of chromosomes is called nullisomy we can represent nullisomy as 2n minus 2 humans with this condition do not survive addition of a single chromosome is called trisomy we can represent trisomy as 2n plus 1 example of trisomy is down syndrome here one extra copy of chromosome number 21 exists so the people who have down syndrome contain total 47 chromosomes addition of a pair of chromosomes is called tetrasomy we can represent tetrasomy as 2n plus 2 the example of tetrasomy is tetrasomy x here four copies of the x chromosomes are present in females that means females have total 48 chromosomes next we will talk about polyploidy polyploidy is a type of mutation that occurs when an individual bears more than one haploid set of chromosomes so we have two sets of chromosomes and we are called diploid if the individual bears three sets of haploid chromosomes the condition is called triploidy if the individual bears four sets of haploid chromosomes the condition is called tetraploidy there are two types of polyploidy first is autopolyploidy and second is allopolyploidy autopolyploidy so autopolyploids consist of the same basic set of chromosomes but multiplied to form multiple sets so what does that mean okay uh, so we have 46 chromosomes in each cell so we can say that 2n is equal to 46 that means n is equal to 23 that means we have two sets of chromosomes suppose all 23 chromosomes get duplicated so how many chromosomes are there in our cell after duplication that is 46 plus 23 that is 69 that means now we have three sets of chromosomes right this is called auto triploidy we can represent it as 3n or triple a suppose again all 23 chromosomes get multiplied so now we have 69 plus 23 is equal to 92 chromosomes that means now we have four sets of chromosomes this is called auto tetraploidy we can represent it as 4n or capital a capital a capital a capital a okay next is allopolyploidy 
allopolyploids are the polyploids that result from the doubling of chromosome number in a hybrid from two different species. So we will understand this from this figure. Okay. So this is species A which contains total four chromosomes. That means 2n is equal to 4. This is species B which contains total six chromosomes. That means 2n is equal to 6. Both species generate gametes. And we know that gametes get generated after meiosis and number of chromosomes become half. But here due to an error gametes are not haploid. There is no reduction in chromosome number. And due to the fusion of these faulty gametes a hybrid forms which contains total 10 chromosomes. That means 2n is equal to 10. This type of polyploid is known as allopolyploid. Okay. So polyploidy is a common phenomena among plants. Polyploidy can be observed in dupe grass that is cyanodon dactylon which is cultivated in South Asia. It is triploid and sterile but can be propagated vegetatively. Animals rarely exhibit polyploidy but leeches, flatworms and fishes do. Let's see some phenotypic effects of polyploidy. In plants, the most common morphological effect of polyploidy is gigantism that is seen in large sized pollen and cells. Polyploidy reduces the rate of cell division and thus the plant growth rate also decreases. Polyploidy leads to reduced oxygen content which decreases their rate of respiration. Polyploidy also reduces the fertility of plants. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please find the first pinned comment or the description box. Thank you.